Now, that's a very interesting question because as the architect of the Bush Library, uh, clearly not um, um, an un... I, I, I have to begin to think about it. And I, you know, when I, I did study American history when I was in college, and so I'm not without a historic uh, knowledge and so forth, but I do know enough about presidents and the, and, and the way things are remembered in general. And architects is um, some architects, some presidents, uh, leave in a blaze of glory only to uh, crash and burn through the pages of history. Others um, uh, are not maybe so well respected in their own time and then when, especially when scholars get to have access to the papers that we, nobody knows what kinds of briefings and information and so forth such presidents were given, you begin to say, oh my God, he was really confronting some amazing issues, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know how President Bush will be remembered, but I guarantee you he'd be remembered somewhat differently um, as the pages of history are turned than he is now. Oh, now, that's really a tough one, and I don't know if I'm going to give that away to the, to the YouTube set, because I'm working on that. I'm, not, I'm thinking about that. I'm not at the stage where I, I'm really involved in the design of the building because there are issues about this acquisition of the site, which are, I am involved with, which are um, um, you know, setting sight lines and things like that, which are very important, but that's where we are. Um, the, the Bush Library sits at the edge, um, assuming the site they're negotiating with goes through, at the edge of the Southern Methodist University campus, which is a very beautiful, coherent, a uh, red brick, basically Georgian-style campus, um, and uh, the Bush, the the, uh, the President um, Gerald Turner of the university would like the Bush Library to complement the campus, and President Bush, and especially Mrs. Bush, who went to SMU, certainly doesn't, certainly respects that. On the other hand, they want this building to be about the presidency and the and the Bush presidency, as as every president who's built a library starting with Franklin Roosevelt, who designed his own library in his own way. So um, that's a very interesting tension, but I don't have the answer, but at least you've hit the question. Mm -hmm.